ladies and gentlemen, I said, say the first thing that comes into your head when you see me. And Bo Mahina said, fire and ice. Because this is 2018. This is a story of fire and ice, sometimes electricity. A cargo pilot captured video of Venomoff volcano spewing lava Wednesday in southwest Alaska. So, you can add another volcano to our chart of things that are fascinating here in 2018 and possibly causing, causing weird weather effects. Because although science is like, you know what, volcanoes don't affect anything, it's all carbon all the time. I'm like, you know what, volcanoes cause air current disruptions, they heat the oceans and the air, and then they release huge amounts of gas emanating from Kotla Volcano, charging for eruption, Iceland. Huge amounts of volcanic gas are emanating from Kotla Volcano since at least October 2016, leading researchers to believe this huge volcano under Midrasloljokolun Glacier in Iceland is charging up for a new eruption. So that is fascinating. And then we have lava spews from Venomoff Volcano in southwest Alaska, which is a bit of a surprise to me because usually the volcano in Alaska that is popping off is the Cleveland Volcano. No, don't get thrown off. The volcano is named Cleveland, but it is in Alaska. And so, we have more volcanic activity. And I want to remind you guys that I mentioned the other day, because we have a new coronal hole facing us, and we will be getting more coronal wind, or I'm sorry, solar wind. It's still morning, and I've been covering, I think I did 60 videos in the last two weeks, so I'm a little punch drunk. Forgive me if you can. If you have no forgiveness in your heart, then... Thor News probably isn't the place for you anyways, you know. So yeah, we got a giant coronal hole that's facing us. And it's my theory that when we have coronal holes and solar winds hit us, we see an uptick in volcanic activity and an uptick in earthquakes. Professional science doesn't agree with that. But professional science has been telling you that volcanic activity is absolutely average and normal, even though we've had volcanoes erupt Within the last year in Mexico is Papacotal, Guatemala's uh, Fuego Volcano. You had the Galapagos Islands volcanoes erupt. You had the Hawaii Kilauea Volcano erupt. And we've had Cleveland Volcano erupt. And now this volcano. So at the same time that, and then you got the, that volcano in Iceland charging. So in the same time that science gets heavily paid to tell you sometimes, whatever the hell they want to. I'm here as your planetary defense commander to tell you the truth. And the truth is, damn, volcano activity is definitely up, man. Alaska's most active volcanoes sit far from the site's population centers. Well, that's good news. And often spurt ash or steam. Yeah. That's the first time I can remember hearing the word spurt that isn't associated with blood or uh, sex. So that's good. Congratulations. Whoever did this article, Channel 2. Oh, man. Am I off my rocker? Maybe I'm just happy because I can take a break from all the doom and talk about volcanoes. It's not very doomy, is it? Captain Joe Timerick, who flies for Ace Air, captured dramatic video of lava flows on the side of Veniaminov Volcano in southwest Alaska Wednesday. Timerick says he and his co-pilot, Nicholas Hulung, Huling, were flying a usual route between Alaska Anchorage and they caught the side of lava flows. Okay, so this was even brought to us by an amateur. So it's not even like science was like, hey guys, guess what? We have another erupting volcanoes. We had to have some pilot, thank you dude, tell us, oh yeah, we got a new erupting volcano. Because for some reason, we don't put a lot of Cameras. We don't monitor the Alaska volcanoes that much. Although they are in America and they've been erupting. We don't have a vast network of cameras and data out there telling us what is going on. Ain't that strange? Yes, it is. I've never seen anything like that in my flying career. 
He was flown for ACE for 11 years, noting that the volcanoes on the Aleutian chain are often more active than Vinyumov. Makes you feel kind of small. That's what she said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Timrick says he's been flying the Anchorage Sandpoint route for the last year, though sometimes his path doesn't go over the volcano. He wasn't in the area for his flight Thursday, but says bearing weather or other conditions, he may fly through the area again on Friday. Vienna Minanov Volcano is 20 miles from Perryville, Alaska, a community of about 100 people on the Alaska Peninsula. Lava flows were first spotted Monday by passengers on the state ferry. So, you can go ahead and take our weird weather watch up a notch because we have solar wind coming in. We have an erupting volcano. And we have a tropical storm that was a hurricane that is hitting the East Coast, plus a whole lot of rain coming into South Texas. A hole in the sun's atmosphere, uh, that is called the coronal hole. As you can see, the actual equinox cracks are opening in Earth's magnetic field. And so, and like I've been mentioning, we've had an aurora up for like four straight months. Man, it hadn't taken no breaks. So, may the force be with you. Everybody stay cool, and maybe sometime today, I'll do a report on all these asteroids that have been flying by the planet, and we don't catch those either until they've passed. This one passed at point one lunar distances. If this was Thor News three years ago, I would have been poo-pooing my pants. Um, okay, that was a gross way to end it. Okay, everybody stay cool. You know I love you, and I will be talking to you in the very near future.